can sweep a man and his board out to sea in a matter of seconds. It can be lonely out here at sunset. Even though there may be hundreds of people watching on the beach, the surfer sitting a half a mile offshore waiting for the waves to build up is a solitary individual. But when that offshore wind at sunset starts kicking things up, there's hardly time to think about aloneness. Surfing at sunset is for experts only. Let's watch three outstanding surfers taking off. First off is George Downing, the pioneer big wave rider of Hawaii on a typical classic sunset wave. To ride sunset is a solitary experience. Let's listen to two-time world champion Felipe Pomar Peru as he describes the big drop. It's such a great feeling to know that the wave is going to throw out over you you're inside this big tunnel of water and you know that the board is accelerating under you and that you're just going to come out of it completely dry. And last but not least, Ricky Gregg Aquanaut and candidate for his PhD in oceanography and one of the greatest all-time surfers of our day. Here's Ricky on one of the longest rides ever filmed at Sunset Beach. And watch how Ricky climbs and drops and uses body English to keep ahead of the whitewater, keeping in perfect trim and climbing back into the hook to get as much speed off the top of the wave as he could get. And that's what you call really getting stoked. Waimea Bay only breaks a few times each winter, and it's the most powerful surfing spot in the world. And although it can look deceptively calm, Waimea has taken more surfers' lives than any other beach. Spectators come from around the island when the surf is up to watch nature unleash and also to see the surfers meet the challenge. In the past, surfers have been content with taking off at the peak of the wave. However, a new, more challenging era is at hand. Now surfers like Butch Van Artsdalen go in for the ultimate. 20 yards on the far side of the peak, Butch Van Artsdalen. The only way to fully understand YMA's strength is to ride her waves or soar above her in a helicopter. This is Mike Doyle with a vertical takeoff. said that to take off a YMA, a steep way that's like stepping into an open elevator shaft to your floor. There's no place to go but straight down. seven-year history, the worst wipeout ever to be witnessed is the one you're about to see. Jose Angel falling down the face of a 20-foot giant. Count the number of times he rolls before he gets the axe. Giant waves of YMA are treacherous. The inside break is even worse. 
Once the surfer is wiped out and caught inside, he should swim into the break and let it push him to shore. This surfer didn't. going to be another victim of Killer Waimea. You will see him die. Between Waimea and Sunset is a relatively new surfing spot. The Bonsai Pipeline. The pipeline was named by Phil Edwards, the first man to ride it, in 1961. The pipeline gets its name from the Japanese word Bonsai, meaning kill, and pipeline meaning the shape of the wave, a dangerous tunnel. Watch the water spit from the tunnel as air pressure pushes it across the crest of the wave. Today, surfers want extreme maneuverability in their boards. Although a light board is maneuverable, it'll break fairly easy. Sometimes two a day. No use trying to fool anybody. Riding the pipeline is difficult and dangerous. Though it can be massive, the danger of the pipeline is not so much in the waves, but the danger of the pipeline is the ocean floor. A jagged, razor-sharp coral, a bottom that can shred a man's skin. But you'll find the Golden Breeded Pipeline almost any day. They know the danger's there, but so are the waves. Some of the most challenging waves in the world. This is the hunting ground for their perfect ride. Here at Honolulu Bay on the island of Maui is one of the world's most picturesque surfing spots. A dreamland of quality shaped waves. And its charm is even more so at night. It's just a short 15 minute ride from the town of Lahaina and a surfer can paddle out against the rugged cliffs of Honolulu Bay. Now here's where we can find the golden breed at work, perfecting their styles and timing, searching for the ride of their dreams. This surfer is John Peck, right on the nose. Tom Murray and John Peck, two surfers from California, on a Hawaii wave, on Loa Bay. Joey Cabell, another surfer from California. You couldn't beat the conditions. The water temperature was 82 degrees and the air temperature was 85. Perhaps one of the best known surfing waters in the world is Makaha Beach. 
decide the annual International Surfing Championship.